Hey guys, it's Candy and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be sharing with you guys a really easy recipe that's perfect for fall or winter or any time of the year if you like to have soup. This is for my white bean chicken chili. I've been making this for several years. The kids love it and it's super easy to make because you pretty much just throw all of the ingredients in the crock pot. So the ingredients that you need are two pounds of chicken breasts and I already have them cooking here in the crock pot so I could get that started. And then you need two cans of chicken broth two cans of corn, and I like the sweet white corn, but you can use any kind of corn. And then white northern beans, and I like these bushes, great white northern beans. A can of chopped green chilies to give it a kick, and it definitely does give it a kick. Some cream of chicken soup, and then for spices, you need garlic powder, some ground cumin, some onion powder, a cup of water, and salt and pepper. So we're gonna go ahead and add all of our ingredients in the crock pot. So the first thing I'm gonna do is open my beans and you're gonna drain them and rinse them before you add them to the crock pot. And as I mentioned, I already have the chicken in here cooking. It's probably been in here for about a half hour. And I'm gonna go ahead and add the beans. All right, and then I'm gonna go ahead and add my two cans of chicken broth. The corn, I don't drain. That's up to you if you wanna drain it, but I don't. And then the cream of chicken soup. chopped green chilies, and then the water. When it comes to seasonings, I've never been one to measure. I just add it in. That was the garlic powder. Here's some onion powder. And then just a little bit of the ground cumin. Salt and pepper. All right, and then you're gonna mix it all up. So I have this on high because we actually want to be able to eat in a few hours, but you could also put it on low if you wanna cook it while you're at work and have it take like seven or eight hours. We're gonna let this cook and then I'll show you what I do right before we're about to eat. All right, this chicken probably is not quite ready yet to be shredded, but because Carly and I have to leave in two hours to go to a thing at church, I need to speed up the process. So if you would happen to need to do the same, you could follow this little trick, or basically if you really let the chicken sit in here for like a good three hours, you could just use two forks and shred it while it's in the crock pot. So I'm gonna take the fork and just start cutting it up. It's cooked almost all the way through, but you guys know how chicken is, where if it's really cooked for a long time in the crock pot, it basically just like falls apart. You could do, you could, uh, oh yeah, see it's not cooked all the way through right there. So this will help speed it up. You could also, like when you go to your grocery store and they already have like chickens cooked, you could buy one of those and just shred that and put that in the soup as well. But I personally like to use chicken breasts. I just think it tastes more fresh, I don't know. And these are cooking scissors too, by the way. A lot of people always ask when I use scissors for cooking. It's the only thing we use the scissors for is cooking. Just so you guys know, I think every kitchen needs a pair of scissors. We use scissors probably more than we use knives in this house for cooking. All right, once you have the chicken all cut up small, push it back in the soup. Mix it up, keep it turned on high. In another hour, it should be good to go. All right guys, so the soup is done. 
look at it, it's boiling, it smells so good. You can really smell the green chilies. And even though I'm not like a fan of real spicy food, I just love the kick that this soup has. So basically then what I like to do is go ahead and fill a bowl. This bowl's kind of big, but I got these new bowls from Home Goods, and they're just so cute. And last but not least, you want to take some pepper jack cheese and shred it right on top. Just adds the perfect addition to the soup, especially if you're going to eat it with Tostito chips like we do. It's going to melt pretty quickly. The soup's pretty hot right now. And then what we like to do is take some Tostito chips, dip the chips in, and get a nice chunk of beans and corn and kind of eat it with the chips. Almost kind of like how I like my Chipotle. Whenever I go to Chipotle, I get like the chicken rice bowl and eating it with the chips to me is the best part. Of course, this is a little hot right now, but I like to taste it to see if I need to add a little bit of salt and pepper. I think it tastes perfect. So guys, I hope you really enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. You're gonna have to let me know down in the comments below if you like this white bean chicken chili. And thanks guys for watching. Please thumbs it up. Make sure you're subscribed and stay tuned for more recipes. Thanks guys, make it a great day. We'll see you next time.